everyone and welcome back to another speed build. For today's speed build, I am doing a house that is a family home in the world of Copperdale. And this house is built with the new high school pack that uh, came out just a bit ago. So I guess I'm technically kind of late on the build, but you know, I had uh, things on the go. So, um, but I finally finished it. So yeah, this is like a kind of like a good little size family home um, that is built um, on, I believe that lot is like the uh, water tower lot. I can't remember what the name of it is, but um, it's a pretty small lot. It's only like 20 by 15, I believe. And I just kind of demolished the house that was there and I'm like, oh, I'm going to put my own there. So yeah. So this house is a... Um, just a two bedroom, one bathroom home. So it's quite small, but it's big enough for, you know, a family with like, um, one child, obviously a teenager because, uh, they're going to be going to high school. Right. So, and yeah, so the premise of this house was just kind of around just being a, a small family home. And yeah, so this house is kind of weird because um, I was trying to like maximize the amount of space on that lot without making the house too wide. I wanted to be kind of a more narrow house, um, building more upward as opposed to out because I wanted there to be a garage and everything. So, and yeah, it was kind of weird. I ended up changing the shape of the house quite a few times and um, adding a lot of different like cutouts to it and just trying to like give as much amount of space as I could with this build so because I just didn't want it to be too too small so yeah so that's what I did with that and I kind of wanted it to also have a similar look to the surrounding houses in the area even though they're just like you know just models that don't really do anything but um I just wanted to have a similar look to uh, shape wise to the other houses so I kind of made it look similar to the house that's right next door on the right um, and I initially like wanted to go with like a kind of like palette where it would be like an orange house um, but I ended up changing it to just being like a nice blue color instead I felt like the orange was too bright for the environment I found like all the colors in the uh in the neighborhood were just very um kind of minimal I guess so I wanted to just kind of fit in with the neighborhood so I stuck with um that nice blue color on the outside of the house so and then there's this cute little pop out of like it's kind of like a hexagon thing or something I don't know but um just kind of pops out because I wanted like a nice little um, breakfast nook or dining area for the family so I kind of put that there and then the garage of course and the garage is like um, you can't necessarily fit a car in there well they don't drive cars anyways but um, I ended up putting just like storage in there and then the uh, washer and dryer as well so they can do laundry out there and then they have a cute little porch on the front of the house and yeah so this house is pretty uh pretty spacious for the amount of like limited room that's on the lot so i suppose i could have put a basement in it but i didn't really think of that at the time so and also i didn't have a lot of room for where i was like going to put the basement stairs anyways so yeah, I couldn't like fit um, a staircase to go down into the basement just because of how much limited space there was on like the main floor. So I didn't end up putting a basement and I kind of wanted to because I just felt like the house would be completed with like a small basement, but sadly I just didn't have the room for it. So, and then, uh, yeah, so, and I used a lot of the um, newer windows that come in the pack. So obviously the pack windows that have like um uh what's that one it's the window that you can like sneak out of so I put those ones around the house like on the sides 
and I think they're accessible. It says that they're functional where I put them, so let's just hope. I haven't actually tested it out, but... And then some of the other um, really cool kind of Art Deco style windows I used as well, so... And as you can see, I initially, like, wanted to do, like, a side entrance on the side of the house, but I ended up expanding the house there instead. I ended up putting another addition that came out off to the side because... I ended up running into a problem of like not having enough space so uh, yeah so it was kind of an interesting house I didn't really know what I wanted to like do with it like shape wise when I first started building it um, I was like oh I, I definitely know I want a family home but um, I just didn't know how I necessarily wanted it to look so I just kind of took inspiration from the surrounding houses in the neighborhood so that's kind of where that idea came from um what else about this build oh i'm so tired guys <laughs> it's been a long day um yeah and yeah i initially went with that blue color i think i changed it to a different color though yeah yeah to that one that, i think that's the color i went, ended up going with or maybe it was a different one, I'm not sure, but I changed the outside of the color of the house so much that I can't even keep up with it. Oh my gosh. I was like, I don't know, I like the orange, I like the blue, and I just didn't really know what to stick with, so. Um, but there's not much of a yard with this house, but I guess that was kind of the whole point when I was building it. I didn't really want it to have, like, much of a yard, so. Um... There's like a small fence that goes around the back, but um, it's more like a decorative thing. And then, of course, we got those really nice um, things on the side there, those plants that you can climb down, which is uh, super handy, I guess, if you want to sneak out. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and the other thing too with building this house, I found that when I was building like the top portion of it, I really like was trying to figure out what the heck to do with it because um, just the way the upstairs was designed it was just like I couldn't figure out how to section off the rooms properly without not having them enough room for the bedrooms if that makes sense so one of the windows kind of got cut off really weird because I had to because of where I had to place the stairs I have to place them in a specific spot downstairs and where they come up in the upstairs, um, I had to like cordon them off with like a wall and the wall runs into that one window that's on the front. So it's kind of awkward a little bit and I didn't really know how to fix it. That's the first time I run into that problem. So, <laughs> um, so the teenager's bedroom, which is fairly large, it's a little bit larger than like the parent's bedroom. Um, the window is like slightly cut off a little bit by like a tiny bit it's not like noticeable or anything like if you look at it from the outside but um yeah it's just i don't know i didn't really know how to wor work around that to maximize the space upstairs without making everything super tiny or without having to access like someone else's room from another room as opposed to just walking up into the hallway and then just accessing the room that way if that makes sense so yeah that was an interesting thing that i came across um i don't come across that too often but it's just i don't know something was just very awkward about this house and i didn't like it when i designed the upstairs so that's uh what was happening with that so but i think this house turned out fairly nice. It's not my most favorite house. Um, I th I'm definitely going to be building more houses in this world though, So, and I still want to do an entire high school yet. Um, I just, It's just a really big build that I'm going to have to take on and I don't want to take that on right now. So <laughs> it's probably going to take me a bit to build something like that. And also I want like the high school to have a specific look. I don't want it to have like, I, don't, I don't want it to look like the original that's there, but I also don't want it to look like the typical brick high school that you would see, so, because um, I have a sort of an idea in my head of what I kind of want to build, um, 
it's kind of like similar to like what my old high school looked like, but my high school is pretty janky. So, <laughs> um, just because like I went to high school in like a really small town. So our, our, the high school building was like, it wasn't something super fancy. Like it was a good size and everything, but, um, it was kind of like weird looking because I think it was built in like, I don't know, like the sixties or the seventies or something, but it, it doesn't have like that brick kind of look and it doesn't have any art deco or vintage looking stuff. That's really nice on the outside. It was just very kind of flat and almost like contemporary looking, but not really. I don't know. It's hard to explain unless I have like a picture or something, but um, I wanted to build something similar to that. So yeah, it's just something I have to plan out and everything because the, the high school lot is such a big lot to take on and it's a lot of planning. So I think that's what I'm going to do sometime here soon. I don't understand how people can do these massive high school builds in like two days like I I swear to god like the pack came out and like two days later people are like oh the high school I built it already and I'm like what like how how do you even do that <laughs> like that's crazy unless they were just taking the original and just redecorating it maybe and just saying that they built it I don't know <laughs> I think that's kind of funny but uh I don't know it's whatever floats your boat right but um I I want to end up bulldozing the entire thing and building it from the scratch or from the ground up basically so that's gonna take me a while so I think just a lot of people what they've done is they've just re-renovated the outside and and uh and we're like hey I built a high school or something I don't know but uh whatever <laughs> it's whatever people want to do right but I'd, I'd prefer myself to just do the entire thing from scratch because I, I have a whole different image in my head of what I want it to look like and I want it to be super specific so and I've been rambling but uh yeah what else was I gonna say oh yeah the other thing too that I want to build in Copperdale because this this uh world is really nice I really love a lot of the lots um they're very scenic and stuff so it's a, such a nice neighborhood um but I definitely want to build like um a couple more smaller homes and maybe a couple houses for like you know like a teacher that lives in the community or another small family that lives there I also want to do a um like a thrift store with like uh, the bubble tea thing because that looks like a lot of fun too I kind of wish they would have separated like the categories though like either you could build a thrift store or a bubble tea place as opposed to having to build them as a like a thing together but I guess I don't know I see where they were trying to go with that but um I wish I had bubble tea when I was in high school we didn't even have anything like that so <laughs> um like I said I grew up in a small town that we didn't really have anything super fun like that the most of what we would be able to get was like um like slurpees I don't know if people know what that is I'm in Canada so like that's what we call them well we call them slushies technically and I guess they're slurpees in the states I don't know people have different things to call them and then we would also go get slush puppies as well so uh and then like because we had like a gas station and stuff we could go to and get like or a convenience store and we could get like candy and and uh, slushies from there so that's uh that was kind of like our thing in our community but we didn't have bubble tea or anything like that which is kind of sad because bubble tea is like one of my most favorite things so <laughs> um funny enough I didn't end up like tasting bubble tea until like my early 20s so <laughs> um yeah that's what happens when you grow up in a small town with nobody in it <laughs> not much to choose from but uh yeah so and then the inside of this house is very um it's very kind of like just a mixture of different decor stuff um this is obviously not a limited pack build I didn't like limit packs that I was using because I just wanted to have enough variety of everything I think I might do a base game in this town eventually um but yeah it's kind of like a it's got a mixture of different decor styles so there's like 
you know, a bit of a traditional look to it, but also kind of like a vintage -y kind of style with it. It kind of, Copperdale kind of reminds me of like, um, the town of Forks and Twilight for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so I kind of like took a little bit of inspiration of that as well when I was building this house. Um, obviously the werewolf pack has more of those kind of um, feelings to it, but Coverdale, it just feels like it's almost like an extension of Moonwood Mill. Or, or yeah, Moonwood, is it Moonwood Mill? I don't know why I want to say Moonwood Falls. That's weird. Um, it feels like it's kind of an extension of that world though, which is kind of interesting because it's got like the, um, kind of like the old industrial kind of town feel, you know, because Moonwood Mill was like a lumber town and this, this one, Copperdale, was built based on um, a copper industry, right? So it kind of feels like it's like a extension of that. So, which I think is kind of cool. They're kind of playing on that. So, but yeah, I kind of felt like I was kind of taking a bit of inspiration from like, you know, forks and stuff. I would totally love to build the Twilight House in, in here. I don't know why I never did it, but um, that would be fun to do. I guess that's another thing I can add to my list, but <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, I don't really know what else to um, cover on this build. Um, uh, it was fun. I had a lot of fun doing it as per usual. I always have fun building, but um, yeah, I think like I said, the outside of the house didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. I, like I said, I struggled with that, but I think for the most part, it's a really good balanced family home for like, um, parents with like a single teenage child, you know? So I think it works in that aspect. Um, and I really had a, had a lot of fun, um, decorating the, uh, teenager's bedroom upstairs. I used the, I used a lot of, um, like a color palette of like lavender purple and like that bluish color because I thought it just looked so good together and I found when I was a teenager actually my bedroom was um that same color it was like a lavender purple color um well first my bedroom started out as like a navy blue color it was like this really dark navy blue when I was like 13 or something and I painted like silver stars all over the walls which I thought was like so cool at the time um but it ended up being like such a dark bedroom because my bedroom was in the basement and it just made the bedroom like so dark uh so I ended up repainting it when I was like 16 or something and I repainted it to like this kind of like light light kind of lavender purple color which was a lot nicer and it just went together with all my stuff and everything so that's kind of where I took the inspiration from that so yeah but other than that I think I've pretty much covered everything um I'll have this up on the gallery soon um same thing with my previous build that shell challenge I just did I'm just I always get behind on uploading stuff to the gallery because sometimes what I like to do before I put my gallery builds up is I like to test play everything to make sure everything's working before I release it because I don't want to upload something and people are like oh this doesn't work or you know what I mean so um but yeah other than that um it's getting late so I have to go to bed <laughs> um but I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video um if you like what you see, um, please subscribe. I am on Twitter and Instagram as well, underneath the handle officially Amy as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next build. Bye bye.